Everything is magic when it snows. The ground glitters and sparkles. It powders your head. It's absolutely stunning. sort of beauty. But altogether, I think it's pretty wonderful. I think at this point, Christmas Eve is synonymous with the snowstorm. As a sign to take this perfect opportunity to cozy up with a nice festive cup of coffee and watch an absolute Christmas classic, A Christmas Carol. It was actually my first time watching A Christmas Carol and I had a really tough time getting through all the versions but I was trying to figure out which one would work for me. And after figuring out that my favorite one was the original, I set out on an important task. I actually enjoy snow shoveling and find it quite fun. But the one thing I do take issue with is those times when you're pushing the shovel and then it gets stuck in concrete and you have to stumble over the handle. I hate that. But other than that, I absolutely love snow shoveling. Everything about it is just so magical. It gives you an excuse to play in the snow like you're a kid again. There's the flakes just slapping you in the face. And the view is just absolutely beautiful. And my dogs are pretty crazy about it too. Honestly, one of my favorite things about winter is watching them enjoy the snow. It makes me so happy, and it warms my heart to know they love it as much as I do. And the best thing about snow is the promise of a nice warm cup of cocoa waiting inside. And I had Ron and Harry keep me company as I warmed up from the snow. And this was a moment I had been anticipating since finals week at school started. That 
quiet moment where it's just me in the kitchen baking Christmas cookies. Now, I am no cookie expert, as you will most likely learn very quickly while watching this footage. Um, as you can see, I'm already struggling to whip the butter. <laughs> And of course I had to make sure to spill a bunch of flour on the table and then use my hands, which was definitely not necessary, but I thought it'd be fun and I was very right, so I have no regrets. And now if you can tell by the constant movement of the camera, I enlisted my sister's help because I couldn't hold my phone anymore. And of course she had to <laughs> point out that I had flour all over my forehead. But honestly, are you really baking if you don't get a little messy? And now here I'm splitting my dough into two parts. One I plan to make monster chocolate chip cookies, which are basically like normal chocolate chip cookies but stuffed with different things. You can be as creative as you want. And then this other half that I am wrapping and placing in the fridge, I was going to let cool for a bit in order to make sugar cookies. Now again, keep in mind, this is my first time making cookies from scratch. It, it really shows that it's my first time and I don't think this is the consistency that is that you're supposed to have for chocolate chip cookies but I went with it because it was bakeable and that was what I was going for. And of course I had to toss in all the chocolate chips because chocolate chip cookies are only proper if they are at least 70% chocolate, 30% cookie. And then I stuffed this one with Nutella, and then the other half of the chocolate chip cookies I stuffed with marshmallows. They came out a little burnt, but all in all, not too bad.
Anyway, so while I'm cutting out my sugar cookies, I thought I'd talk a little bit about Christmas past. I see, the reason why this is my first time making cookies from scratch is because this is not a traditional thing in my household. My parents are from Mexico, and so we have some very different traditions than most people I've known in my life. During Christmas, we tend to make tamales and buñuelos and this sort of like hot chocolate called champurado. And then there's this spiced punch that is called ponche, which is literally translated as punch. And all of these foods, they're only made once a year in my household. And it's always created this very distinct smell that I remember from every Christmas. And so whenever I smell it, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's what Christmas smells like. But obviously that's not what Christmas smelled like to other kids my age when I was like in middle school. And so I always struggled with the fact that my Christmases didn't match theirs. And so I felt like I was doing something wrong for sticking to my culture and our traditions. As I grew up, I started realizing that different wasn't a bad thing. And it was actually really special that I got to celebrate Christmas the way I did. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that while I enjoy trying these American traditions, my Christmas looks a lot different than this and I feel like that's what Christmas is supposed to be. It's supposed to look very different for many different people. So now I'm curious, what are some Christmas traditions or holiday traditions that only exist in your household? What makes Christmas so special for you? Now, back to these cookies. I was in a rush because I had to leave for work in about an hour, so I made a very lazy icing with powdered sugar and milk and vanilla. And I think it was still pretty good, so considering the fact that I had a rush job and I wasn't really sure what I was doing with the decorations, I am very proud of my cookies. Now, I would like to end this video with a bit of a familiar poem, and it goes something like this. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, I tore open the shutter, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a minute it must be Saint Nick. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs>